Yo, what's poppin'? It's Tomathan, and I am here to create American Team USA. Okay. Uh, so in front of me, we have American players that were in Owl Season 5, are going to be in Owl Season 6, or were top three in the American World Cup Qualifier Trials, whatever that was called, and top three in the Run It Back Contenders thing, plus Super. Because the main tank pool is not deep, and he said he would be willing to play World Cup if he was invited to the team, or he'd at least do the trials for it. And then who knows what he'd decide to do from there. Another thing that would be worth noting is that there's no real timeline for if or when Reiner comes back to professional play. So he could be here for Team USA, which would be ideal, I think, but he might not be. So I'm going to make a, like a if no Reiner kind of thing, and we'll see what happens. So, yes, some other things that's worth noting before I get into this. You have to be 18 to play in the World Cup, so there are some notable players that just cannot play. Three, Rhino, Strider, uh, Zira, probably some other ones. So those are just some that came to mind right away. Uh, if there's anyone else that's important and they don't, you don't see them on this list or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. And of course, once I'm done or before I'm done, even right now, you could go and tell me what you think Team USA should be or what it will be. And uh, yeah, so first off. I'm going to go through each of these roles and list off players that I think are in the front running. So for Hitscan, it's definitely Aspire and Hydron, right? These two are kind of a cut above the rest. Dove, not that impressive. Wub is switching over to Hitscan full-time, whatever. And Haven Vision and Chopper all kind of impressed me in the World Cup trial thing. But I don't think they can hold a candle to Aspire or Hydron because Aspire and Hydron are just insane. But they, they actually did impress me quite a bit, all three of them. Probably Vision impressed me the most, I would say. But uh, they were all quite good. So Aspire Hadron, you can play both of them too, because they are very similar players. They both have a Tracer on them. They're both very good at hit scan. I would say the biggest difference maker is I would say Aspire has more pop-off potential, maybe a bit of a higher ceiling there. But I would say Hydron is a safer pick, a more consistent pick. So it depends on what you're looking for there. In, in terms of flex DPS, I think Sam, Speedly, and Sugar Free are probably the three you want to look for. I wasn't that impressed by any of the contenders flex DPS, to be honest. I'm not that high on King or Malthel. So, and if you want to put Wub as a flex DPS too, still not impressed. So Sam, Speedly, Sugar Free, probably going to be my guys. There are, are some key differences. So Sugar Free, this is his first time in the league. He has taken a bit of a break from playing because he was just waiting to turn of age. He is very good. Probably as hyped or more hyped than Speedly was. So there's that to keep in mind. But I think it's hard to really judge Sugar Free until we see him in Owl because it's been so long. It's not like, oh, he was dominating contenders for so long. He was dominating contenders. He was insane. Like he He's so good that he could afford to take that break and still... Feel secure about joining Owl, basically. But there is a bit more of a risk there. Whereas Speedily, he wasn't he didn't have the explosive rookie season that you would have wanted, but I still believe in him a lot, and he's easily the best echo of these three, if that's your kind of benchmark. And then Sam is just kind of your all-around good flex DPS. In terms of tracer players from this, I think Hydron Aspire, I don't know how strong Sugar Freeze Tracer is, if I'm being completely honest with you. I assume it's pr probably pretty good. But it's been a long time. So who knows? I, I would say I'm probably, in terms of these three, I'd be more confident in Sugar Freeze than Speedly or Sam on the Tracer, for sure. Then you have the main tank position. Honestly, I think you have to consider all of them because they all bring different things. First up, you have I think Reiner's the best of these four. Just straight up. I think he might be the best player from America right now. I am very high on Reiner. His ball's insane. His Winston's insane. His Doomfist is very good. He can flex onto all the other tanks decently well. He's just insane. He's, he's next level, right? But he might not be available, which means you do have to consider what the other main tanks have to offer. Mikey, probably the best ball remaining of the three. I don't that that's that's what he's really here for. This is his wrecking ball. 
because a wrecking ball is very tough for any of these off tanks to pick up. And I call Dante an off tank because I don't feel too confident as Winston or as Reinhardt, so I don't think you can call him a main tank by default. Then Gig, I think Gig is probably my lowest rated of them, even though Super is not in play right now. It's like, I don't know. If you're really feeling Gig, it just feels like he's he's fine, I guess. He'd be okay, but I, I like the potential for Super coming back, even though he's left the game for a year. He left it at a top-of-the-line performance. He was an insane Ryan. Pretty good Winston. Arissa's pretty good. Great Roadhog, you know. And I think the leadership he brings could actually be real for a team. Because he won it, right? He was there. He was the main guy who won it. Not the main guy, but, you know, he was the starter. Because they only had two tanks. I guess I guess they had to be, have, he had to be the starter, right? But I don't know. I think it's valid. And the way I see it is this is an event. It's not a huge grind. He comes in. He... Goes with the boys for a bit. You know, he comes in for some Reinhardt, some Winston maybe, whatever's meta at the time. I don't know how much I trust his Wrecking Ball. That's something that I wouldn't be sure of. But I think the leadership he brings, the personality is insane. And there's incentive for him to do this because the World Cup is such a large stage. Even though Super is a pretty large streamer at this point, right? I think you still gain advertisement from being in the World Cup. Like... I th unless I'm overhyping the World Cup, I think it could benefit him. Even if he loses money like while he's scrimming and things like that, he could still stream, of course. And it's still a big event. You go to BlizzCon, not bad, you know? Is it still BlizzCon? Is that still a thing? Maybe that isn't a thing anymore. I don't know. Anyway, I see incentive for him to do it, and it's a pretty good option, low-key. Honestly, I'd maybe take him over Mikey off of name brand alone. It's not like he's washed. Or he probably is washed kind of right now, but I feel like you give him, give him a few weeks, you know, he can get back into it. Uh, and then you have the off tanks. So Dante, Kaluge, and Hawk are probably the big ones. Space, I guess you can consider him. Sure. But realistically, I'm not, I'm not sold. I'm not sold. He kind of had a, a bit of a quiet season, right? I think he could have had a larger part in the Gladiators last season, but Reiner's just too good. So, in terms of this, Dante's your best Doomfist, probably your best solo tank all around. Kalush is your best Sigma. Hawk could get Nepotism buff with Gator, which is which is scary. I probably would like him a little bit more than Kalush is an all-around tank, but they're very close. And in space, it's hard to say. I think space might be a little lacking compared to Kalush Hawk right now. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, flex supports. Ultraviolet, RuPaul, and Landon are my main three that I'm looking for. I guess I could be whatever. Luke Mino, I'm not... I, I like Luke. I don't think he's competing with these guys. I don't think any of these guys really impress me. Renko, Anion, or CJ. So it's just like Ultraviolet's insane. RuPaul and Landon both have great baps. Landon has a sneaky good zen and stuff as well. And UV is just like your hyper-aggressive guy that you... You know UV. And main supports, I will consider these three and not wasn't too impressed by Lyra or Mitra either, to be honest. Give it the Rack OG and Lep. It's probably just OG here. Rack is cool, but I think OG is genuinely very good at like his game sense is very high. And I feel like his shot calling is also probably pretty good because it's not his mechanics that's carrying him. Even though his mechanics are fine, but uh, that's kind of how I see OG. So you notice that you could just do American Tornado here. You could do Toronto Defiant, and you could say, well, the Synergy will just carry them, and then you're good to go. Maybe. Maybe that's true. But the way I'm seeing it right now is I want Reiner. I'm going to base this around having Reiner first because I think he's the best player here. He's insane. So who do you, which tank would you like to compliment Reiner? Because you get two subs, so you might as well get a tank, and then you can get you can choose whatever else, right? So I think to compliment Reiner, you want a really good Sigma because Sigma is always going to be good on your circuits and things like that. So probably Kaluge at that point because I think Kaluge is the best Sigma. I think his Diva is very good. We'll see if Hawk Nepotism's through Gator. There's a chance. But I don't think anyone could be upset. I don't think he could be upset if Kaluge got the job over him, to be honest. It's just like Kaluge is pretty good. 
So I'd like to go Reiner Kaluj as your tank line. If Space steps up, maybe. Maybe Space's Sigma is quite good. But I don't know. I'm going to go with Kaluj for now. Then I'll look towards the... I'll look towards the supports first. So I think Ultraviolet is probably your guy to go to here. I mean, it's just like maybe you could say RuPaul and Landon have a, have better BAPs, but other than that, I would give the edge to UV on all the other flex supports. His Brig is tragic, which is right, worth noting in case you were to get a, a double main support meta again for some godforsaken reason for locking Brig Lucio. But... I think there's a pretty small probability of that, and I believe one of RuPaul or Landon will join for double flex support, and OG is going to go here. This is probably Synergy. I mean, it's just American Tornado at this point, right? But things should change up here. I mean, Sugar Free and Aspire are both ex-American Tornado too, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, just OG's combination with Ultraviolet. I think he's better than Lep and Rack Attack anyway, so whatever. And then for your DPS, this is where it gets interesting. If you believe in the synergy, you go Hydron speedily. I kind of want to go with Sugar Free Aspire, though. Because I, I do think Sugar Free should be a better tracer than Speedily Sam. Maybe I'm just, like, bullshitting on that. Because there's not too much to say as of this moment in time. I couldn't tell you. Maybe I'm wrong. But... That's kind of what I believe. And Sugar Free's just like that guy. I don't know. I think Sugar Free's that guy. I think it'd be Speedly over Sam, though, for sure. I guess you could do Speedly and Sugar Free. There's nothing stopping you from both. But at that point, may as well go Hydra and Aspire as well. And I'm picking Aspire because I think you want to have the possible max and you hope that you can play for that. Because you're going up, go, you're gonna go up against a crazy strong. South Korean team. So if you play your roster safe, I don't think you can do it. I think you need to hope that Aspire hits his peak in this tournament and play off that. That's what I think. I think you have to go for the highest peaking roster, not the safer one, right? And it's I, I say that between Aspire and Hydron, but it's not like Aspire is a inconsistent player. I just think Hydron's maybe slightly more consistent, I would say. But Aspire, I, I like this roster. And then for my last, I would go with Landon because I think his... Supports other than BAP are better than RuPaul. And you could be like, well, if he's going to play double flex, he'd probably be your BAP anyway. So why not just get the better BAP? I think it's debatable between RuPaul and Landon who's the better BAP, right? But also there will be two new supports coming next in the next like three months, I guess now. There will be two new supports. So who knows? Maybe one of them will pair better anyway. I guess I'm planning for the future, which is kind of BS in a way. But I like Landon a lot. So I will be putting Landon here. I think he's very good. I think his BAP is as good as RuPaul's, probably. Maybe even better. I'd say it's better than RuPaul's. That could be... It's debatable, though. It's debatable. You can choose whichever one you'd like. So my Team USA would look like this if you can field a Reiner. If you can't field a Reiner, I think you simply sub in Super instead. I think this is where I'm at. Because you want a Winston player, right? You want someone that can play the main tanks proficiently. If you go with a Dante there, or, or a Hawk, or a Space, or any of these guys, you don't get that. I guess you don't get a wreck, Wrecking Ball, technically, if you don't go Mikey, because I don't I don't believe in Super's Wrecking Ball that much. I, I haven't seen it. But I'd rather have Super than Mikey, even after a month of scrims. Like... After two weeks of scrims, I'd rather have Super. I think he, he's, he's still a raw gamer. You know what I mean? I still think he has it. So that would be fun. Team USA looks like a pretty fun team. I mean, it's just American Tornado plus Landon. And if they believe in the synergy, you can go Hydron Speedly. It's not a big deal. It really isn't a big deal. I don't know if it affects their placing too much. But I'm going to choose to... Ignore it, basically, and go with what I think is probably a better roster at its peak. So yeah, is it go is it safer going AT for sure? Lock and Hydron speedily, completely valid. Why not? I love me some sugar free though. That's all I'm gonna say. So anyway, 
That's going to be that. Let me know your roster down below. Let me know which country I should do next. South Korea time, Canada time, Canada pulling up with their two Overwatch League players. Yeah. So anyway, this is...